if they could cross all that land with no cell phone. No food, no water, and thousands of people, and they can steal your job the next day. Thinking about buying a battle song if I'm waiting for some. Police officer bring me in for possession of a weapon. I see them walking about with their heads devoid of mental sickness, teachers with stable families, plenty of jokes, children that can sit still and get straight aces. I'm just a small child in a small world, and I'm supposed to have the politically correct opinion on all of these things. I forgot everything I learned from grade second to seven. I'm a basket case in a stressful work environment. I've been dragged through the muddy trench that is law for nearly three years now. It's going to bring some form of serrated weapon to my throat time and time again. Public schools, government intervention, summer program, it's all the damn same. And I don't know how to categorize these things. I don't know how to put sex and driving, war, death, violence, cigarettes and alcohol. I usually sleep at 1 a.m. and wake up at 1 p.m. I'm a night owl. That in and of itself would be fine if the world weren't run by morning people. I find it difficult to wake up because I have neither the mental stability nor motivation to find a reason to wake up. But have you ever seen a dead guy? Never quits, not once. Just keeps going and going, and it's the easiest thing in the world, if I'm gonna be honest. You just lay there. I've gotten addicted to that. Schrodinger's teenager. You knock on their door to see if they're up and ready for the day. And only when you open that door. Being alive is my hell. It's a cesspool of mediocrities and inconveniences that are too few and far between to complain about unless I make a change. It's my only shot at making a better future for myself and my family. And I'll die as I lived, laying down, barely breathing. I get done shoveling, or I think I'm done shoveling. It's the middle of the day, I'm listening to Stephen Vai, and just guitar ripping in my ears. I see the sky, I fall back, I lay in the snow. And I can't stand, can't talk, can't do anything. I just lay there. I'm 
I like playing guitar, but I can't remember most of the songs I learned. I can still play fairly well despite my memory loss issues. Playing guitar is a bit tiresome though, and it's still fulfilling because of the wonderful sounding tunes. Lifting weights helps with my low dopamine levels, and I know for a fact I can never commit to dieting, so being a power lifter is a good path to choose in terms of exercise. My maximum curl was about 35 pounds last year. That's what Gatorade does. Leaves your mouth dry, leaves you unable to talk, unable to eat. Making sandwiches is pretty neat too. It takes time to create them and it's rewarding when you eat white bread, two parts ham, one part Swiss cheese, Part tomato, three parts torn lettuce, drizzled mustard, cut in half. and kept together with a toothpick. My inspiration for this recipe was the sandwich from Team Fortress 2. A game about wearing hats and using teamwork to fight others with a variety of unique weapons. It has a very supportive and friendly community, regardless of the insane protagonist's competitive nature. I'm hopeless when it comes to commitment, being both a victim of ADHD and several seeping depressive episodes, but that can't stop me from trying my damnedest to break the cycle. About three years ago, we started shoveling mulch because we had a garden. In this garden, you grew all your plants, you grew all your veggies and such. There were groundhogs that kept eating some of them. And so I had anxiety back then. I was finally, after a long time, coping with my depressive and anxious feelings and thoughts. And I've been taking CBD described by my doctor. And that was good and fun for a while. I mean, I felt a little shaky bit out of my head when I did it, but you know what, I'm not thinking about whatever's going on beside me, I'm not thinking about whatever's going on in that room. Forget AI, we need to just resign effective immediately. I love mowing the whole yard. Gives me reason to suit up, go out in the blazing heat, and seeing the lawn all level, it's perfect. So I wake up at 12, maybe one every day, and that's just how I am because that's how my body is hardwired, mostly because I'm a teenager. But then the world comes in and says, no, no, no. Same thing happens when you wake up. For some reason, you can't eat foods when you wake up. The time at most I need to eat that food. So why don't we just wake up later? Why don't we just stay in bed until our bodies fully function and then get up, get out there, and face the challenge of whether or not to face the challenges of the day. Destiny is unpredictable and completely up to chance. Some people might meet their destiny trying to defy it. I won't focus on this supposed outcome. Because of this, I'd rather talk about my aspirations. I want to put on some comfy clothes, put on an enthusiastic smile, walk onto a stage with a supportive audience, talk into the microphone, practice the art of laughter, wicked smat humor, comedy. I want to be witty, edgy in an environment where being myself comes naturally. I want to sip a Coors Light and quote, try out some new stuff, my center of gravity becoming a center of attention for curious, humorous folks. Because of my narcissistic personality and lack of filter, this would be a dream job. 
What's the problem then? Seeing a stool and spouting whatever insane thoughts linger around my subconscious mind. Maybe I'll rent an apartment and practice my stamp in isolation. That would definitely make the dream more feasible, but... The point is, destiny can screw me over at any time. I could get shot, maybe overdose, have a stroke, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I have something to look forward to before that happens. Or, at least, I hope it's before it happens.